Hello everyone, this is the Crimson Cure, welcoming you to the Crimson Tower, a place where we keep a feminine foot on the neck of the gynocracy, feminism, and black male misandry. So go ahead, pull up a chair, stay a while, and listen. Crimson Ice and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about why black women can't seem to get protection. Okay, so we've heard this argument many, many, many times all over social media, all over other forms of media as well. Black women have had public conversations, private conversations about why it is that black men seem not to want to or be able to provide protection for black women. Now, the very concept of providing protection is oftentimes very vague. Um, this is like a nebulous type of protection. I get it can range anywhere from personal protection from the men that she knows, or uh, really it can go to like public protection, like black men protecting black women's image or protecting their appearance value or protecting their honor collectively in some sort of way. But I want to talk to the ladies today about why you really can't seem to get protection. I've talked before on this channel very recently about four categories that men vet women through or how they see women. And that was time, toll, trouble, and threat. All right. So the time, are you worth his time? The toll, are you worth his money and investment? The trouble, what is the level of your chaos what is the level of the kind of problems that come with you? And can he solve those problems? And last but not least, and what I want to focus on right now is the threat. What level of danger do you actually bring to him? And I'm just going to jump right out there and say the reason why black women don't get a lot of protection from black men is because you are too much of a threat. You carry too much of a threat. What do I mean by that? What do you mean we carry too much of a threat, Crimson Cure? Because you, you're too much of a threat. You are like an angry python loose in the house. You know, maybe I can pet you some of them days, but I might wake up one of them nights and you've constricted around my chest and trying to kill me. That's the threat. Let me start off by saying, first of all, we live in a gynocentric society that gives women a threat, whether she wants to have a threat or not. All right. And the, the societal threat that you have is backed by feminism, is backed by policy, is backed by the gynocracy. So you can meet to a guy. You can ruin his life. You can send a dude to jail or you can send a dude to his death. 
And here's what makes black women so much more dangerous in this area is because with among black women in general, there is too much of a contempt for black men. There's too much culturally acceptable misandry, a disdain and a disregard for his life, a disdain and a disregard for his livelihood. And through these means, we're actually able to dehumanize black men, which makes it easier that if you get mad or if you want to do something to him or even at the at the slightest wrongdoing perceived or real, you are ready to go all out and make this man's life a living hell. That's your threat. This is why you can't get protection. This is really why you can't get protection, because all of the things that you do present a threat. The way you run your mouth around him presents a threat. The way that you instigate trouble presents a threat. The violence by proxy is a threat. Black women are talking about, they don't know, they are, men don't protect us. Yes, they do. Because I'm willing to bet most of us know at least one man that on our word or go take care of somebody. I got a couple of men that'll do that right now. If I go to them and tell them somebody really did something to me, that person going to get touched. It's just the way it is. And these are black men. Actually, the argument that black men don't want to protect is really, really false because black men actually have a higher sense of that than I think most other men, because it's really only black men that I have seen that will go spray a whole crowd because this woman said somebody did something to her in that crowd. Now, I'm not condoning that. I'm not saying that that's sensible. I'm saying, I'm saying it to say the black men actually have a high sense of protecting black women in their honor even black women that they don't know. But even if he knows you, if you pose too much of a threat, a man with any sense isn't going to put himself out there to get dealt with on the back of you. You cause too much trouble. You are trouble. You are a walking piece of trouble. Everywhere you go, there's an altercation, there's an argument. You pose too much of a threat. And not only do you pose a threat to him by doing things outside of him, you pose a threat to him yourself. How many black women are guilty of actually physically attacking their men? We have watched videos recently within the recent past two years of black women actually hurting and killing black men just because he cheated or she suspected that he did. And black women as a group condoned it. You don't get protection when you condone the murder of the one you're seeking protection from. You'll kill him. So how is it that you are expecting that he's supposed to give you protection? You don't get protection because you're a threat. You're too much of a threat. This is why you don't get taken seriously in relationships. This is why you can't get married hardly. This is why when you do get in relationships, they go awry because you're too much of a threat. You're not worth the time. You're not worth the toll. You're not worth the trouble. And you are a heavy threat to him. You are a threat not only to maybe his livelihood or you're a threat to his sanity. You're a threat to his sanity. I have heard of men just canceling themselves off of the back of the threat that women have produced in their lives. The level of chaos that has been produced just by herself. All because she's mad at him or she's trying to get back at him or she's trying to have revenge or she's trying to make him pay for something. We've watched videos of women running men over with their cars, whether those men died or not. We actually watched a woman run over a guy. That man died. She got out of the car, was taunting him, and then hit him with like a whole bumper. As that man lay dying, you're, you are the threat. You can't protect nothing that's the threat. You can't get protection and be the threat. That's the whole point of it. You can't.
can't get protection and be the threat. So if you want to have the protection that you think you deserve and the protection that you desire, you're going to have to knock it off with being a threat. You're going to have to get real docile. You're going to have to really stop trying to be quote unquote about that life. I just did a video about um, the, the woman who was in the Fresh and Fit podcast acting a fool. You can actually take a look at it right here. She was a threat that he, he didn't really assess very well. And she could have done way more than what she did. She sat there. She was hitting him. She, she could have went. If she was really on something, that this is the type of threat that black women can be. If she was really on something, I know she knew some goons that could come up there and spray that whole place. And really hurt them guys or kill them guys all because she felt offended on some frivolous type stuff. This is the level of threat that you actually present. So you can't get protection while you're in that state. If you're going to be more masculine than he is, more about it, about it than he is, then he can't protect you because you don't need it. He, the, any protecting going on is for him protecting himself from you. I'm protecting you from somebody else. You can handle it. You handling stuff. So if you want protection, you're going to have to be more vulnerable than that. You're going to be have to you're going to have to be something that a man sees is worth protecting or that needs protection. The way we black women walk around, you don't need it. Protection from what? You are the threat. Protect you from you? No, thank you. You're going to have to knock that off. All right. Again, if you want some protection, you can't be the threat. You can't ally yourself with the threats. You will go ally yourself with his ops. King Von got killed behind what? A woman, a woman's level of threat. She's skinning and grinning and being with his ops. And that's how a lot, and I don't even follow drill rap and all that, but that's how that stuff happened. That's how he got shot behind, behind a woman and her antics and the, the level of her threat took his life. And so many men actually have rightful fear of that because that's what you do. So the next time you whine about protection, think about what you would do to that same man if he make you mad. Think about what you would do to him. Think about what you may have already done to some men. Girl, I'm going to call him and get him fired. It goes from anywhere from keying his car to taking his kids away to getting him fired off his job to getting to, to, to trying to have something happen to him. Watch the video. This woman tried to blow him up, blow a man up in his car. Like, it's, it's crazy. No, you can't get protection because you're a threat. You want protection, you got to stop, got to knock it off. And I mean really knock it off. Or else you protect yourself. You you big bad, you do it. You worse than him, you more dangerous than he is. You do it. So anyway, I would like everyone to sound off in the comment section. Is this, do you agree with that? The black women can't get protection because she's the threat. And she carries too much of a threat. And not only does she carry the, too much of a threat, she'll happily wield it. It don't take much for her to pull the card and do something to a black man. That's why you can't get the protection. So sound off in the comment section. I would love to hear your comments. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I am your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.